All right, so first let me just show you the simplest use of the equation that I just showed you. And again, I'll show you how to do it without the equation. All right, find the seventh term of this binomial expansion. All right, so we've got a 14th power, which means this is going to be way down on the 14th row, starting with row 0 of Pascal's triangle. Now, if you have the equation, right, so tr plus 1 equals nr and then a n minus r b to the r, then all you have to do is figure out what n and r are. Obviously, n is 14, because that's the exponent of the binomial expansion. r, well, for the seventh term, if we want the seventh term, that means r has to be 6. Because remember, r actually starts at 0, element 0. And so it's always going to be 1 earlier. So if r plus 1 is 7, meaning the seventh term, then it would be the sixth element, starting at element 0. All right? And so now we've got n and r, so you should just be able to plug these straight into the equation. So we should be able to say the seventh term is equal to 14 over 6, and then a is, of course, 3x to the 14 minus 6 power, and then b, of course, is 4 over x squared to the r power. And then from there, we should be able to work it out. Now, this right here, you're going to want to plug into your calculator. You'll go 14 in CR6. Now, remember, NCR has gotten on your TI-84 by pushing math, arrow over to PRB, and then find the NCR and push enter, and then you'll type in the 6. And that will say, actually what that does is it says, look at this row in, choose element 6. And so that should do it for you. All right, so if we do that, we get 3,003. Now you could write out Pascal's triangle to the 14th row if you wanted. You could do it that way as well. Just remember you're starting at row 0, and then the element starts at 0 as well. And so then we'll go 3x to the 8th, so that would be times 3 to the 8th, x to the 8th, right? Because 14 minus 6 is 8, it'll distribute to both the 3 and the x. And then here we've got 4 to the 6th over x squared, also to the 6th. Again, the 6 distributes to both of those. All right, so now if I pull out my fancy schmancy calculator here, and I work that out, then I go 3,003 times 3 to the power of 8 times 4 to the power of 6. Then I'm going to get a really big number. So I'm going to go 8.07 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I've got an x to the 8th here and x to the 12th on the bottom, so it would be x to the negative 4. And so there you go. That would be the seventh term. All right? Now, you could have just as easily written that out, right? And if you really want to write it out, you can do that as well. But with the um, equation here, it actually makes it fairly nice. But you could have done that. You could have said, okay, let's go... Um, the first term would be a to the 14th plus blank a to the 13th, b to the 1st plus blank a to the 12th, b to the 2nd. You see what I'm doing? And so this is always an option. You know, if you can't remember the equation or if you really just don't know what else to do otherwise, you can always just do this. Okay, so I've got uh, the first term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. 6th term, a to the 9th, b to the 5th, and then um, a to the 8th, b to the 6th. Now, of course, this would be 14 over 0, 14 over 1, 14 over 2, 14 over 3, 14 over 4, 14 over 5, 14 over 6. And you'll notice that you should get exactly the same thing. you got the 14 over 6, you've got 3x to the 8th, and then you've got 4 over x squared to the 6th. 
All right, and so this is the term that you would then focus on. So you've actually written it out to the seventh term, and that's fine as well. Okay, of course, this one will be very nice, especially if you have very large numbers of terms to very high exponents, things like that. But, you know, most of the time, they're both within reason. This is obviously faster. But anyway, there you go. There's a very straightforward uh, use of this. Um, I'll show you a couple more in the following videos.